All right, pal, we are at Stockport. We're actually in the weather spilt in Stockport. Morris has got his chips. Lovely. Who goes to uh, Sean? Who goes to Weatherspoons and just orders chips? Who goes to Weatherspoons and orders chips with no, with no salt and vinegar? And that's our ass to go soon, so you don't want to get too extravagant there. Yeah. Time killer. He's got, got more flavour in his well. fucking copper bird. Got wine as well. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, Stockport won their last game uh, against Northampton. They win the FA Cup on Saturday against Leicester. It's quite good to have them back in, but I'm not good at. Good to have them back in league, but I'm uh, sat in this weather spoons quite nervous, really, because it's uh, Wayne's brought us to the Ritz. Thank you, Wayne. Are you happy, Wayne? Yeah. Are you going to work tomorrow, Wayne? Yeah, it's six o'clock. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm fucking lucky. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's better than Wimbledon. Yeah, so we're running late. Been the weather spoons and we're late. Game's just kicked off. Still a 10 minute walk away, but. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm going. I'm going one one today. If we'll get a point, I fucking hope so. Anyway, Lawrence. One, one nil for me. One goal. Yeah, I think the penalty Smallwood. Penalty Smallwood. Sean. Two one City. Two one City. Wayne's right up there. So I'm not asking. <laughs> five miles ahead. But yeah, got a di weird line up. But. Let's, let's get some of it, for God's sake. Ground's right over there, and I'm blowing out my ass. Get it out. Get it out! You ain't gonna do! Go on. It's a bit far out, but just do something with it for God's sake. That's going to be closer to my car, and it's right at the other side. <laughs> Come on. Get up. We're just falling. It's half time, it's nil nil. We missed the first 10 minutes, Lawrence. What did you think? Well, we, we first got in about 10 minute mark and they actually looked really positive uh, up to the 15, 16 minute mark and then 20 Suck minutes. Stop, you don't run, have you? Yeah. And we just, Stop, you don't run. What, what a dull game, zero shots uh, I, just seen now. So. I think Adam Clayton's looked pretty bright. Yeah, Clayton's a bright spark, but it keeps seems to be the game small was the team for me, but can't fault Clayton. He's like that for the rest of the season, we might be all right there. I think their atmosphere is pretty good. Yeah, it's, yeah, great to see, yeah. it's great to see Stockport back in Football League. I'd rather see them than Fleetwood. As we said, don't, like like Salford, don't make any noise. Anymore. Yeah, it's great no, to see them back, but we don't want them to no, enjoy the stay. Well, no. enjoy beating us anyway. But. No. Well, when you've stuck with your team to National League North, you're going to have a good following, aren't you? So. Yeah. Yeah, so what do you reckon second half? Do you reckon we're going to do something? Uh, you have to make changes. We've got 16th minute mark. Needs to bring Cook on. The day and all of us are too weak. But any, any of these are now warming up in front of us. Yeah. And having straight line up. Nevers. Nevers, yeah. Or Nervous, whatever. I'd even have Derbyshire. Yeah, just for chaos. See anything. what he's like. See if he's any good. Got him in, haven't we? So yeah. Sure. What an absolute shit half that was. <laughs> that's, the, that's the blunt way of saying best, it. Best, best, I don't even think we had a shot. We didn't no, see it for 10 minutes. No, no that went best That went best part of half. In the box. In the box. Hey, you dirty bastard! At least they're jumping.
90th minute. We're near the goal and we have a Wayne Craven there. Are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? No, are we? Fucking goalkeepers on ball. So the game finished Stockport nil, Bradford nil. First of all, I apologise for the uh, not so long videos, but we did get there late, quite cramped, and uh, there wasn't much to record really. Uh, Stockport fans were absolutely amazing. It's so good to see them back in the football league. I'd rather go to a place like that than Fleetwood, Crawley. Um, all these little teams, they bring so much to the football league. It's so good to see them back. Um, they were more creative. They were. They have a good passion down there. And if it's like we City, if City had have had Paddy Madden in their team, Paddy Madden for Stockport is brilliant. But for Bradford, it'd be absolutely shocking because we wouldn't provide the ball for him. We had one shot all game. Uh, we're a deflected shot by the day and Oliver. And I could have saved it, to be honest. But... We didn't we didn't put much forward, but then again, you're not going to when you've got your top goal scorer and you bring him on on eight, 82nd minute. Absolutely poor tactics from Mark Hughes. Absolutely abysmal. But you can't say a bad word about him because he was a good footballer 30 years ago and he used to play for Man United. Fuck that. I'm sick of it. Absolutely sick of it. Um, I'll hold my hands up. Yeah, I'm one of the um, most, I'd say... Realistically, realistic person to say what I think, um, and probably a downer, but I just want what's best for the club. And there's a lot of toxic atmosphere at City, even though we're seventh in the league. We don't look like we're going to push forward when we, I mean, we kept a clean sheet at Stockport and a point. I'd have took that before again, to be fair, but when you've got you've on this bench, we had three players. We had Ryan East, Luke Hendry and Jan Songo, who has today gone to Walsall on loan. Now, all three of them have been publicly slated to go to different clubs. And if I were Andy Cook, I'm top goal scorer in a shit team and I'm on the bench. I don't blame Andy Cook if he decides to leave. I really don't because... He's brought a 37-year-old in Matt Derbyshire on before him. So disrespectful to Andy Cook and he looked so pissed off. And I don't blame him. Regarding the game, Harry Lewis, I say it week in, week out, he's just fucking brilliant. He really is. Um, we brought, we've got a, we send Matt Folds, Matty Folds on loan to Harrogate. And then we decide to bring Bowler in from Rotherham. I think he's from Rotherham anyway. I don't know where he's from, but he should fuck off back there because after that first, that game, he couldn't throw a ball to a City player. He don't tackle. So what is the point in having him? You know, why don't we bring his own players like Matty Folds? Yeah, I don't rate Matty Folds. Everyone on the channel know, who watches this channel knows that. But I'd rather him get experience at our club and progress further with our club rather than Arrogate and then bring in someone in from Rotherham who don't give two shits about this team. Uh, Matty Folds is passionate, but I don't rate him other than that. But regardless, I'd still rather have Matty Folds in that team than Bowler. You've then got Costello up front, who we've brought in from Burnley. And again, we've sent Jake Young, our player, to Barrow on loan. What the fuck? Why? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing at that club? I mean, is our player wanting to do well in our team? And Costello is no better than Jake Young. Jake Young, in fact, has scored more goals for us. He's actually a better player than him. All these signings that Hughes has brought in, everyone's going on, oh, he's got uh, his own players yeah his own players Ryan East is getting rid of Jake Young is brought in he's sent out on loan and then it's just so disappointing it really is I mean the the atmosphere from our end were flat as fuck 
Um, we missed the first 10 minutes at game because we wanted to go to Weatherspoons. And, and you know what? I wish I'd have missed the whole fucking game because it were absolutely abysmal. So, f you know, just so, so fed up. But as I say, I'd have took a point before the game. But, nah. It's how we're playing. It's how we're playing. It's not good enough. Uh, we brought in Adam Clayton last week. And me and Sean were saying that Adam Clayton is 40 year old. He's past it and all this. And he was probably second best player on pitch behind Harry Lewis, to be fair. For us, anyway. Um, Gilead and... We had Gilead, Smallwood and... Clayton in midfield, all in the same position. They were all, Adam Clayton were doing all work, but other two were just the same position as him, so I don't understand that as, as a defensive midfield. Um, I do think that we did go there for a point, which we achieved, but the way we played, I mean, it was the same as Wimbledon. We, no threat, there's no spark. The only spark we've got in his team is the name of his manager's nickname, which is Sparky, but it's oh, fucking dire, it really is. I don't, I really don't think that this team will get in top seven. And if they luckily, luckily do, they ain't gonna get in, go up. No way, no fucking chance because they don't play under the big games and I can't do it. <clears throat> My opinion, anyway. But I hope they prove me wrong because it's getting a bit boring at the moment. But. Look how pissed off I am and we're 7th in league in a better position than what we'll, I've been for the last few seasons. But it's just how we're playing. It's crap. If Derek Adams had had that team, we'd have slagged him off some at Rotten. So I, don't, I think it's only fair that we do the same here. But I don't want to see you sacked. I just want him to change his shit tactics because swapping and changing managers isn't good enough. It doesn't work. But Stevenage away next one. Up the fucking chickens.